In this lesson, let us explore the client server architecture of an Oracle RDBMS system. We know from the previous videos that when we start an Oracle database, the instance creates a couple of processes. They create and maintain a memory structure called shared global area, where the data from the database files are loaded into, as well as some more processes such as SMON, PMON, DB Writer, Log Writer, and Checkpoint Process, which are called as background processes. Remember, these processes are called background processes. Now, let us see what happens when a user from a client PC tries to connect to the database. Let us say that the client runs Microsoft Excel. And this MS Excel wants to use the database which is running in this server. First, using Oracle Net, which is a networking suite of components developed by Oracle, the client PC will know the location of the database server. This Oracle networking suite generally writes on top of the regular networking protocols used in a local network. For example, if the local network uses TCP IP protocol, then Oracle network will use it. Next, the client reaches out to a process called listener, which is running in the database server. I mean, the host where the database runs. Listener is a process that gets created as a part of Oracle networking. It generally runs in the same host as the database server. Its main job is to listen for any connection request such as the one which just came from this PC. The client, after making an initial contact with the listener will inquire about the database that it wants to connect to. For example, if the client wants to let me, for example, let me call the database here is as demo db. And if the client wants to connect to demo db, the client through Oracle Net installed here will know to which server to come. And once it comes, it will talk to the listener and ask the listener, I want to connect to demo DB. Do you know a database like that? And the listener will say, yes, I know about the database that you want to connect to. Let me help you to get connected to it. The listener will pass that connection to the database instance where the user authentication takes place. Okay, so the listener says, I know about the database and then it passes the connection to the instance where it authenticates the username and password. Once it is done, a separate process gets created in the database server. This process represents the connection from this client. This process is called server process. Okay, so the connection the client gets connected to this server process, which in turn interacts with this SGA and helps the client process. Okay. And this server process belongs to this particular connection. The connection flow will be like this. Client talks to its server process here. The server process interacts with the SGA here. But wait, how does this server process interact with the SGA? We know that this is a separate process. And this SGA is 
from a separate process. So how can this server process 1 can access the memory of this whole another process? Well, remember the shared memory segments that I explained in the previous video where multiple processes can access a shared memory which is owned by one process? Yes, that comes into play here. I mean, the same concept applies here. This SGA is shared to this several process 1. This SGA is also shared to these background processes. So, when the client processes in the client machine, which is MSXL, sends a query to the database server, the query would be sent in a form of a language that the database understands. That language is generally SQL, which expands to structured query language. Okay, again, the client sends the query to the server process. That query goes to the SGA from the server process. Okay, let me repeat. The client's query goes to its own server process in the database server, which is server process 1 here. And that process, I mean, this process works with the SGA and the background processes to fetch the data. Again, the client software initiates a connection request to the server host in the host, there is a process called listener, listening for any such connection request. If it knows about the database that the client wants to connect to, it redirects the connection to the appropriate instance where the database has been opened. Once the authentication happens, a new server process gets created. And this several process is dedicated. Please remember the term dedicated now, as of now, and I'll explain the term dedicated later. So, as of now, this several process is dedicated to this particular connection. That several process serves as a representative for this particular connection. It's absolutely possible to have multiple server processes in a database server. Each would be representing different connections. The server processes are sometimes referred as foreground processes as opposed to background processes here. Thank you for watching.